Good morning, Gloucester. It is Gloucester Cast 312. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hungover participants this morning. Well, uh, I resemble that remark. <laughs> I resemble. resemble would be accurate. This is Christmas Eve, Christmas Eve, no, Christmas, Christmas Eve, 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 Eve. Yeah, and we're here at the dock. We have our, uh, we have some Irish whiskey to, to get little hair of the dog. Hopefully, a hair on my head. That's that's lost yeah, that's cause. Not happen. Lost cause right there. From, we, from this vantage point, it's not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> when the sun comes in the, the window just at the right angle, you have to worry you could be blinded for life. <laughs> Uh, on we have of all the bald people out there. I apologize. There you go. It's very insensitive, Joe. I want to speak to your HR representative. <laughs> well, Ms. Alicia HR. Cox isn't here. You're so. not. You're not an employee. Suck it up, cupcake. <laughs> Get abused like the rest of us. Jesus, we've been here you're, for years. You've been a contract. <laughs> I like. This. I like her already. <laughs> We, we got Ralph we, to... We were supposed to have you on next Sunday, not this Sunday. <laughs> no, Monday. <laughs> Monday. Monday. Tuesday. We got Ralph to Giorgio here this morning. Ugh, bah humbug. <laughs> <laughs> we got Bill Cox with us. Good morning. Michael Codias, Gloucester, Massachusetts, uh, participant Ooh. in the Most Eligible Bachelor. <laughs> we will get to that in a little bit. Morning, Joey. Good morning, Gloucester. Uh, Melissa Cox is with us. Fresh from... Your ear is... Oh, you're, yeah, you're, you're, you're yeah, twisted. Yeah. You know, your ears, your ears, Not the first where, person to tell me that. Your ear is where your nose is supposed to be. <laughs> I think Ralph... How much did you have to drink? I last think time? Bill... I think Bill might have had something to do with that. He might have knocked it... The side, <laughs> knocked her ears sideways when he was... This morning when they had a little... Something... Breakfast? Uh, yeah, breakfast, <laughs> breakfast in bed. We, we saw them at breakfast and dinner. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, yeah. and Bill. Right. Yeah. Jeez. That's right. It would have been more awkward if you saw us at lunch since we ate at home. Stalkers. <laughs> Chris Good McCarthy morning. is with us. Good morning, Joe. Good morning, Glossa. Happy birthday, Joe. Kim is with us, and she brought me a very, very thoughtful uh, Ryan and Wood Distillery, the new malt whiskey from the first barrel. So we're very appreciative of that. What Thank barrel you. number? 160, number four. Nice. Very nice, right? That's my handwriting. Wait. That's, I think that's your handwriting, isn't it? Is there any special message on it? Yeah, is there a special message? It says, Joey, you are the sexiest human being on the planet. <laughs> yeah, it must have been. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's definitely not my handwriting. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like Chris's, actually. <laughs> it might have been Chris's, that's right. Um, I think it looks like Kim's. It might be Kim's. Yeah. Oh, oh, geez, Kim. I hate being hungover. I'm like, I have that 10 oh. second built in delay this morning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's not Which quick. is good. It's really not quickly. Quick. Normally, normally it's quick. It was really awkward because he was actually peeing first thing this morning. <laughs> so and he didn't realize he was still in bed. <laughs> 10 second delay. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, uh, what's the word? <laughs> we, need to, we need to recognize Ralph brought pastries from Cafe Cecilia. Uh, Chris brought quiche from Cape Ann Coffee. And Melissa brought her. This is the second year in a row I think you brought me the biscotti with the chocolate dip almond biscotti. Fantastic with the coffee, by the way. Thank yeah, you so very much. Good, Melissa. Melissa. Very good. Mm. Delicious. Yeah. 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 Kim was going to bring me coffee, but she, she forgot. She ignored your text. <laughs> she didn't get one. How though. rude. It yeah. came after the no thanks, we don't need any donuts. She did ask if I wanted donuts. Mm. Um, last night, we spent uh, some time. Um, recognizing yes. and going and to support our friend Mickey Lafada and Suzanne Lafada. They lost their son to horrible complications of diabetes uh, in Gloucester. How old was he? Uh, he was 18. 18, 18 years 18. old. Wow. Very, so really sad. loved kid, like a ton of friends. Uh, and he was a hockey player. Mas they went to Mas Masconam at high school. And uh, Gloucester hosted a memorial. This is the second year now. Second year? Did they do it last year? I think they did. Well, I think it was the first year here. here yeah, first, first year, year here. Gloucester. They had a, yeah. uh, a, a hockey game, Gloucester versus Masco, and there was a huge crowd there uh, supporting, uh, you know, the, in remembrance of him. And I think, and so Mick and Suzanne have established a scholarship in the son's name oh, to go to a senior ho uh, hockey player that exemplifies 
goodwill, a love of hockey, and a hard work ethic. Because I, right. I, I, I was listening very because it's like, you know, that, that those those that things sum up yeah. like Mickey. You know what yeah. I mean? Like Mickey's that kind yeah. of a guy, hard working. Yeah. Very, you know, nice guy and everything else. So, um, hats off to the family for, uh, and hats off to Gloucester for hosting, you know, them and stuff like yeah. that. It yeah. was a great, great turnout. Uh, raised a lot of money. Yeah, it, yeah. It they, had a, they had a, um, they had a uh, silent auction. Silent auction, and then all the, I think all the proceeds at the door were donated, yeah. and then there was a fifty-fifty raffle as well. Yeah, uh, it was just, and it was the place was just jam packed. It was, it was great. I hadn't been in that facility for a while, but that's a nice rink. It is. It's very yeah. well designed the way they did it. It's a little, you know, it needs a little upkeeping, the updating, updating. But yeah. it's, it's a beautiful. It's old, you know. But yeah, like but the, everything the else. actual rink but the way itself, it was the designed, glass is gorgeous. Yeah. You know, you know, a lot of times you go into those hockey rinks and the glass is all marked up. up and stuff yeah. like that. Stop you can, licking on it. <laughs> you can see it's a great uh, it's a way that you come in off the ground level and then it, it yes. dips dips down Stadium. to the ice. Stadium seating so everybody has a good seat. Yeah. yeah. It's a nice place to watch a game. Yeah. Very good. So we had fun there. Uh the day started out, Ralph, Chris and I at um George's. Pop oh there. yeah. The pancake. Is Pan- it what what do you, what do you recommend there? So you had you know, you can throw it out at that menu. And get we had the one eye Josephs. The one eye Justins. One eye Justin, sorry. One eye Josephs. Ten <laughs> seconds. What, what is that? What is the one eye Justin? So it, basically, it's a toast. Right. And they cut a hole in the middle of it. <laughs> and and they, they fry the egg right in the middle. Then they, you know, flip it over. Oh, and what's delicious. unique is they oh, actually yeah. give you the, the piece they cut out of the toast. Yeah, the toast. Yeah, the toast. Toast. Yeah, yeah, it was good. A little bonus. Eyeball. Yeah, and the eyeball. So Joe and I had that, and Chris had the uh, three eggs, poached eggs, poached eggs, and hash. hash. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so, then uh, me and Ralph split a pancake too. The pancakes the are, are uh, the pancakes are ginormous. I think it was like forty-eight inches, inches in diameter, or something like that. <laughs> Manhole covers. Yeah. 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 So and go to Joe's then, blog to see what Ralph actually did with the pancake. <laughs> No, we didn't post that. No, post no, no. Oh, didn't post that picture. No, we didn't post that picture. Oh, uh, basically, I made a tortilla out of it and just rolled four eggs in it and rolled it up and ate it. I didn't. It was delicious. The day before, the day before, Chris and I went to Mom's kitchen for breakfast, and I got the sausage, biscuits, and gravy, which are fantastic. So well, I woke up. Ralph says, "Where are we going for breakfast tomorrow, Mom?" So, so I says, uh, "I got the kids." Kay's like, go, you go with the guys, go have a, you know, I'll take care of the kids and then come back afterwards. So I wake up in the morning and I go, I gotta go, I don't know, what time is it? She goes, oh my God, you slept in. She goes, you gotta get in the shower. I go, okay. She goes, what are you gonna order today? Are you gonna get sausage? She gave me the guilt, after she told me, gave me the green light to go, she <laughs> gave me the guilt trip to order that, that I was gonna get another sausage, biscuits, and gravy. So I post. I did, I made the mistake of pi- posting the picture of Ralph with the big pancake and everything like that. And his wife, she she got on me a little bit. She says, "Put the fork down. <laughs> Walk Come up for back real. away Come from the real. table, <laughs> from the pancake." Yeah. So now, good. that yeah. being said, my wife had me doing laps around Good Harbor Beach yesterday afternoon. <laughs> yeah. The, yeah, you were sitting in a chair <laughs> while she walked the dog. <laughs> That, that's Ralph's form of exercise. I must say, I moved here in March, and I think I've gained at least 25 pounds. No, no you lie. have not. I swear it, to it's God. Got, it looks more like 35. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I, I, got the Gloucester, the I got the There's Gloucester 70. 25. It's 70. I'm a freshman here in Gloucester, and I got the Gloucester 25. <laughs> he gained it, lost it, gained it again. There's no place that has this many great breakfast places as we have. No. no. And drinking establishments, too. And, and wonderful places to well, go for Well, if you can't dinner. drink with breakfast, it's so good as breakfast. It's yeah. A, I mean, here we are this morning having whiskey. It's a drinking yeah. town. At 9.35 in the morning, Keisham whiskey. I, I have a question. Oh. Have, I think, has anybody ever been to a restaurant called Capone's? Oh, yeah. Oh, Peabody. Peabody. Yeah, Peabody. Peabody. I've never eaten yeah. this. Yeah. It's a pickup yeah. joint. Yeah. 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 How long have you been here? Peabody. 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 Peabody, oh. Peabody was a little character yeah, on, on, a, <laughs> on a cartoon. On a goose. <laughs> so, Sherman Peabody. Sherman, Sherman Peabody. Peabody. You know why? Because I, I, I pass it all the time, and it's like totally, it's like no one there ever, like during the day. 
But then if you drive by there yeah. at night, it's you they know, still have live music there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The live music. This it's all lit up. There's in the car, the parking lot's filled with Cadillacs. It's oh, a pickup joint. Every, every, I was there, there about the, for the 50 four or five plus. years ago, and it seemed like the clientele hadn't got out of the eighties. <laughs> Yeah. They're yeah. Still, like their yeah. best days were in the eighties. Yeah. Fits in the front, party in the back. And Joe, still... Joe, <laughs> our best days were in the eighties. No, I, so. I, absolutely. <laughs> hey, speak for yourself. Yeah. Okay. Not the fastest, you know, running in. Uh, Aspire to be better. The most eligible bachelor. Most eligible bachelor, exactly. I just can't believe we're drinking whiskey at nine thirty in the morning. <laughs> can't pass the. I have Sunday. Can't hey. pass the bottle on that. Nine thirty-five, Ralph. I need to fill up. <laughs> The only reason we're doing this is because it's a, ho- it's a ho- ho- holiday, po- it. holiday podcast. It's a little polar swim. Yeah, we need to practice. Uh, Polish preview. Swim? Polish swim? Polar. Uh, Polish. Oh, polar bear swim You should have done the hot chocolate with the pepper and schna- mm. peppermint schnapps oh, this morning. Yeah. So, yeah. <gasps> if it's cocoa? high tide, we'll jump off the bridge. Mm. The Creek Bridge. At low tide. No, at high tide. Well, that's awkward. <laughs> so, so, we had the, the, the Gloucester's Most Eligible Bachelor Contest this, this past week. Mike Coday versus hometown hero Chris DeWolf. And at first, Chris DeWolf came out to, with an early, 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 early big lead, lead right? big, big lead. Yeah. And then Coday started creeping back, creeping back. I think if there was more time, that the results would have evened out a little bit more. Yeah. But Chris being the local guy right. growing up here knows that. Mike, if you Mike, if you if you Mike, graded this awesome. on a curve, ba- basing taking in the factor that Mike was from out of town and ba- really doesn't know a ton of people, right. Chris Chris the Wolf should actually be embarrassed for his results. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I, when people meet me, it's often sh- stranger danger is the first. Thing <laughs> <It's good. laughs> and, and if Mike had more time for, to vote for himself, he would at least gotten a couple well, hundred also, more votes. I, I was wondering why I saw you on the library hopping from computer to. <laughs> <laughs> And it actually, what speaks volumes is that it's Sunday morning, ch- children and, and Crystal well. Wolf is not here. Right. And I am here, so he must be getting after it, and I just came from church. Well, <laughs> the, the reason being is because he won the most right. eligible bachelor, right. and he has women calling right. him left and right. And you lit. have nothing else to do to be here with us. He's but as <laughs> Mike's agent... Uh, I am filing a motion. We think that there would, might have been some voter Malfeasance. fraud, fraud <laughs> voter fraud involved. Um, so we are taking this to the highest court. No, it's court. fine. No, no. And what do you base that off? It's all good. Um, there were people voting that shouldn't have been voting. We have proof that the polls had closed, but yet votes were still coming in. <laughs> Wow. Is, are you going to do a, a most eligible bachelorette? We are. Yeah, I feel, we're like, taking, I feel we're, like we're in Florida. We're taking, we're taking <laughs> nominations. Okay. We are taking in nominations. Uh, but I so, I was talking to Kate about this, and I actually think coming in second is way more beneficial because you can use this line. Hi, my name is Mike Coder. I'm Glosh's second most eligible bachelor. <laughs> and that's way more interesting, interesting yeah. than being the winner. I came in second. You don't have to tell oh, them that yeah, there are only right. two people. Right. Runner up. I was runner up. I was runner up. I was first runner up. Second is the first loser. Yeah. And, and just for the record, can we not talk about Kate today? She's seeing how she backed into my car and <gasps> damaged yeah. it. And yeah. Now I have to get a new car. Yeah, she's so. pulling out the, the, the sun. You see how the sun was coming. Oh, yeah. So Ralph's got to get a new, new yeah. vehicle. Get you a new know what? Joe has a lot of insurance. Oh, he does? So, yeah, he Can does. I put it on his insurance? Yeah, buy okay. okay. I don't know. We're going to have to get an assessment. Yeah. Yeah. Well, something really weird happened to me last night. Liv and I were driving down 133 near, you know, the White Elephant? Yeah. And along that kind of dark stretch along there. And something hit us from the side. Like, it shook the car. Probably and it like... Sunk. Really? And Deers. deer. And, and deer. we had both yeah. just got like chills up and down our arms oh. and we got out of the car and That's we a piping clover. And there was piping clover. Piping clover. Definitely a piping clover. There's no mark on my car. Oh, we can't have nice it was things. A, it was a drunk punk piping clover. It was really scary. We drove back to because I was worried I hit yeah, a person was or a, something yeah. like that. Yeah. There's nothing what, dead in the what road. What color is the car? It's um, green. Like Because I green. saw they were running an amber over. <laughs> 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 they were. They were. Freaking hit and run. No, hit and run in, in essence. No, we went back and checked because I was worried about 
about that, but there's no dead deer. All I know is they're, 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 when you hear the sirens coming down the street. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna check your trunk, Kim. We're gonna check your trunk. Look for the marks, blood marks. You have to do a DNA testing. Uh, Olivia already thought of that. She goes, "Do you think somebody's in the trunk, Mom?" We're holding a flashlight up in the trunk. That'd be a that'd be a scene out of like Goodfellas. Well, I I was only looking last night. I forgot to look this morning. Like we looked, I looked over. It was dark. That was so dark. I couldn't really tell. Yeah. That's interesting. Well, that's, I, I bet you that had to be a deer. Oh, it was uh, a lobster. It could have been a lobster. lobster. <laughs> Rampant lobster. So yesterday, was when we were at uh, when we were at uh, George's for breakfast, we ran into Melissa and Bill Cox, and, who told us about the a, a perfect opportunity for the blog uh, to go cover the bottling of the malt whiskey that, had, that they had been yeah. in, had produced, and uh, so we got to go over there. And how did you guys get involved with that? Um, we've been doing it with them um, on occasion. <laughs> you see that? He's not distracting at all, is he? <laughs> um, can you drink some more whiskey? Because maybe it'll slow you down. Um, <laughs> we, Where were you? We did it about five years ago. Um, and we've done it off and on with them. Actually, so we met um, Bob Ryan and Kathy when we were planning our wedding, is this we a wanted long story? to shut up. <laughs> How long it is this? We, we only have it. <laughs> no, get that thing. You gotta get that thing. <laughs> we met them way back when they first started because we wanted to do wedding favors with their alcohol, but obviously not the full bottle. Right, yeah. Because you go that broke. would have been not, not yeah. cost afforded. So, um... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and... Chris is falling asleep. I am not sitting between these two next time. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I didn't do anything. Can, can you grab so me that pillow? We, we've been doing no. it with them. Oh, my God. No. I'm not touching that pillow. Uh, we need a pic, Kim. You need to take a picture of this So, anyway, pillow. we've done it with them before. No, it was great. <laughs> Will you shut Let her finish. I swear to God, done? I'm going to ban you. <laughs> from Gloucester. From Gloucester. Oh, thank God. It only took me, it took me less than a year. No, I'm right? sorry. Go ahead. But is there um, much left? <laughs> I'm sorry that my life is so boring. No, he's too. No. <laughs> oh, time's up. Next topic. Next topic. Anyway, so it was a blast, and we got to do um, the bottling with some friends of ours that hadn't done it before, and it's just so much fun. That family is just fabulous, and I love hanging out with them. They do a lot for the town. So, yeah. Great do. ambassadors yeah. for the city. Very involved with uh, Discover Glossy, right? Yes, yeah. definitely. Very well. Um, Suck it. <laughs> so now, <laughs> this is not. We're gonna have to put. I'm gonna have to go in and edit the ratings <coughs> for iTunes because if you swear on a podcast and you don't mark it as explicit, they can take your podcast down. Oh, I really? said suck All it, because not of Melissa. Else. <laughs> no. So, no. You never no. hear us swear on this. You never show. hear. It. No, no, no. <laughs> So, so last night, so we, so we had the good fortune to run into Melissa and uh, and Bill twice at Topside. We went after the game, yeah. where we had a pickle pizza. Pickle oh, pizza. Yes, that's, that's Bill's pickle pizza. Was, was that your? Was that your? Uh, oh, you're the one who challenged Doug. Yes. Oh, yeah. he, I'd been on him when I, we go do trivia there on Wednesday nights, and um, the North Shore Eats on Facebook has had people posting pickle pizza. Pictures, God, uh, <laughs> I, I, mean, I might need some more whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> Give Bill some more whiskey. Pickle pizza, pizza. Um, and then we—I've actually had people from other friends from across the country posting uh, pictures of pickle <laughs> pizza. <laughs> yeah, it was it, interesting. It was outstanding. No. I will. Yeah, it was outstanding. Sour. I was, it, is say. it sweet yeah. gherkins? What's the? Is it sour? Uh, sour. Dill, dill. dill pickles. And then what else? I think traditionally you're supposed dill. to use the, yeah, the round. But since they only use spears, they just chop the I spears up. And, uh, I enjoyed it. It was good. Scampi, garlic, well, scampi the sauce. And no garlic no points on. Yeah, garlic, olive oil, uh, and yeah. some dill. It was a great, we had it for an appetizer. It was perfect complement to We had a great dinner. time we sitting did. at that bar. Yeah. There were so many people who had birthdays. They have a... This <laughs> is such a like, confluence. <laughs> yeah, everybody's birthday. <laughs> there was a lot of inappropriate uh, talk. Yes. They're, they're, oh, no, tell me the truth. Tell me that that symbol on the beer can did not look like a, your 
Urethra? No, <laughs> uterus. Uterus. <laughs> <laughs> a urethra. It did. It looked like a uterus. Bill agreed. Jesus. It looked like an upside down tulip. You need um, to get your mind. Hello, Santa. I saw a bell. I saw a bell. Sounds like the end of the fallopian tube, Joey. <laughs> the fallopian tube. <laughs> oh my God. I mean, Why do people listen to this shit? What about those dolphins? <laughs> there you go again. <laughs> Oprah. You know what? Oprah. I, you know why mature I keep, audiences only. You know why I keep going back is because. Uh, there are two bartenders there that really make it a fun night. Val and Tyler. Uh, Tyler. And you said that you last night you told them that you were going to compare and contrast their bartending styles. Chris McCarthy said this. So go I ahead. Com- yeah, compare and contrast. I think I remember that. Statement. Yeah, I do remember you saying that. And yeah. you put because you wanted to see you were pitting you were pitting them against each other to see who could give you better service. Are you done with this story? Is it going to take long? I'm done. Take long? Yes. I'd like to now hand it over to Melissa. <laughs> Melissa? <laughs> Static. Well, uh, actually, I think Melissa doesn't have a baseball bat. You were talking to Val. You know Val? Yeah, she's, she's a, a great bartender. Yeah. She, uh, you know, I mean, that's what makes, that's why I like sitting I like at the bar. I like all staff. At Topside. Yeah, it's I don't know really, the others it's a, as well. It's a good bar you can go to, have an inexpensive dinner that's really good, with really good service, and it's fun. It's like... Yeah. It's a fun atmosphere. It is a, yeah. definitely a fun atmosphere. It's not it. sterile. You know what I mean? There's right. some places you go that's like a sterile atmosphere. Yeah. Not there. No, uh, so, we were all at the bar, really loud. Chris yells at me from across the bar. You heard that. Well, in the oh, actually, I was down the street, and, <laughs> and I heard him yell, <laughs> Melissa! to the couple that were having dinner and I said I, I hope you really weren't planning on having a quiet but, dinner yeah. and, and, and like no we love this place it's always fun you never know what you're going to get which is yeah, yeah. It, it's top you can't sit right. at the bar if you don't expect uh, you know a lolly, I, I really a lolly, felt like Norm last man night when I walked in and you screamed of his my luck. name like you know I, I apologize on behalf of everyone who dined at the top side last night between the hours of 6 and 9-ish if I stepped said over the line. anything wrong, if I stepped over the line, I, I apologize. I don't know what it is, what it is with your family. Isn't that step one? <laughs> That's step one. His, enti- <laughs> Apologies. His entire family likes to degrade restaurants. All right, what else you got, Joe? I want, what else you got? I want, seeing as we're a week away from the new year, I want Melissa to run down what the new bag ban is uh, what 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 do we need to know? Um, so January first, and everybody's had a year to, to, to know about this. Yes, the law passed over a year ago, and there was a 2018 basically plus a few months where the um, delay into enforcement. Grace period. So yes, so use up what you have: styrofoam, plastic bags, um, the plastic bag. Ban. So they both start January 1st, 2019. The plastic bag ban is on the flimsy single use bags. Um, anything over 2.25 mil can still be used and bought. And then the polystyrene is anything used for um, food or service. So those are the two key terms. So uh, mean can be used or can't be used? Cannot be used. Mm-hmm. So okay. it, the clamshells, um, the beverage cups, um, and I noticed okay. that Dunks already ch- switched over to the paper cups. Oh, so really? So a lot of yeah. people are switching over um, prior to the January 1st deadline. Um, if there is a hardship on January 1st, if there's a hardship to your business, um, you can apply for a, a single six-month waiver. Wow. And that is it. So what about containers like this? Um, Plastic containers. It's recyclable. Okay. Or reusable. Well, I have a question. I've used that eight times to carry my cat's shit. (laughs) (laughs) Joking. (laughs) Joking. I thought the chocolate tasted good. The biscotti. I think it was the almonds. I I got a little hint to catch it. A little bit of corn in there. (laughs) That's where the hair came from. This is something people ask me about all the time. So you know that um, when you load when you're putting fruit in a plastic bag. Yes. Um, so what about those bags? Those are not banned. Okay. Um, are we, is that because they're recyclable? Or? Well, no. It's because there's not really a replacement 
and um, a, a type of replacement for that. So those are used for um, meat, vegetables, okay. those kind of things. Um, a lot of people do buy their own bags. There are some bags out there that, that you can purchase and bring to the store yourself. And they um, are recycled. Paper bags are also still um, in use for that, okay. except for the meat. So, okay. yeah. What about shopping bags, like at the department stores, like, say, Marshalls or... Those are above the 2.25 mil. They are, okay. Yeah. So that means they're recyclable. In trash No, bags? no, they're, 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 more, they're, considered more, they're considered more Multiple. than single use. Yeah. Right. Oh, okay. Single, single use. use is kind of a key okay. phrase okay. here. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Which is kind of a misnomer <clears throat> because I know a lot of people do reuse the plastic bags. Oh, we put them in a washing machine in my house. <laughs> I use them. So. I use them for my feet in the winter. Now I'm not going to be. Now I'm Ralph not going to be able to. I, I think you should probably try your head. Right. So <laughs> Ralph has Ralph has a built has a building near Market Basket in Middleton, and he says he has to send out cleanup crews all the time for to pick up these Can bags. Oh yeah, bags. it's yeah. anybody that tells me they've never seen a plastic bag in the wild hanging from a tree is, is right. ridiculous. Yeah. Like, what would you define as wild? In out the wild. in nature. Out, oh okay. Out. Cause out and about. Or at the bottom no, of the your house. Unattended. Not, like, not, not like your bedroom at home, Chris. <laughs> or, yes. the, or the That's tree hanging tamed. on your street. Shelly's well, been yeah, complaining I mean, about that. Chris it, has them hanging from there, the ceiling. There are thing. people out there that said they've never, <laughs> ever seen a plastic bag just out This is breaking so. news, but this whole recycling thing is a farce. It is. It, it's, it's I throw really all my recycling together. There was a program on not too long ago, oh, this, this past week, yeah. where they showed these bundles of of uh, recycled stuff that they were sending over to, to Thailand or China, and it's probably just sitting over there. Or they're probably dumping it well, into their they're oceans. They're refusing to take it. They're now. refusing yeah. to take it. And our recycling costs are going up within the city, yeah. um, as they are everywhere. So I mean. It's because we, we need to do it's better we have about dirty, not we using have, plastic. We have what's called dirty recycling, right? Because we it's all mixed together instead right. of yeah. separating right. it. Yeah. Like they were but there's so many. I didn't realize it. Like there's so many grades of like plastic yes. that for us to just you know it recycle all properly, right. it, you would need 16 different bins. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Well, hopefully, yes. I mean, uh, we're moving in the we, right direction. We as society just need to stop depending so much on plastic. Okay, plastic. Yeah. It, it, there's not. <clears throat> You cannot go a single hour without touching something that's plastic. Right. No. Ralph, I mean, so. you got a Christmas gift that was made of plastic. <laughs> latex. Yeah, latex. It's a little latex. A little Ralph, why don't you tell me? It had a coating on it. And I re I re gifted it back. <laughs> um, stop. Stop, stop and shop. Uh, speaking of places that have recyclable bags, how is that for a segue? <laughs> Mike was telling me yesterday he saved like 80 cents a gallon of the, with the Stop and Shop Gas Rewards card. And who's taking oh, advantage of that? Oh, they do. I, I, what I do is I just give them to my son because he has a truck. You know what I mean? Like I have my Prius, so I don't need all those. I don't really need all that. But so you have, he has your, your gas card? Or? No, but if you, we all have the same, you know, pin? Oh, yeah. we all have the same number. Oh, yeah. What, yeah. what is it? So, so, um, what, what's your pin number? <laughs> <laughs> no. No, I, any no. points I get, they go right on your card. I'll tell you off air. <laughs> <laughs> Kanye West, we know Kanye, Kanye West's code to get into his phone. <laughs> So <laughs> when he met with the president, so Mike, to, uh, Mike so tell me about the story. It's, uh, it's a great thing to do if you're not if you're not taking advantage of the stop and shop points. You know you should be, and I think you can do uh, up to dollar fifty per gallon off. So that would be fifteen hundred points. It adds up when it's you have a dollar per trash. point. So like, I know Chris has got I got mobile two, on app. Two big boys at home, and me is there, and family of five. I'm sure he's putting out fifteen hundred dollars in groceries every month. Mm -hmm. So the points expire what? after 30 no. days. His wife doesn't cook. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Honey, that came from Joe. No, she says it. She says it all the time. She doesn't like to cook. Yeah. Am I wrong? Yeah, she makes me. I mean, for, for me, <laughs> for me with, you know, Mikey, just Mikey and I, and Sophia being home now, 800 points, you know, for December. I'm going to read. I, I went to the website based yeah. on what you had to say. So... You can save up to a dollar fifty per gallon. You get one point for every dollar you spend with your Stop and Shop card. 
Save 10 cents per gallon for every 100 points you receive. Points are valid for 30 days. Oh. So, if if you re, if you're strategic about this, and say you spent eight hundred dollars, right? That's eighty cents per gallon. Uh, Sixteen bucks, basically. Yeah, that's I right. Take a guess. Yeah. yeah. That's, now, as yeah. Mike's agent, I would like to say that Mike that's is a regard to pie own stock in Stop and Shop, <laughs> and. He made profit from the uptick in the number of people that now shop at Stop and Shop, but it it has no impact on why he's actually advertising. For stop like most shop. shell stations is a car wash, or quite a few is a car wash. Oh, nice. And so the one in Endicott Street in Danvers is like a car wash is like nine bucks. You get the car wash safe for free, right? Think oh. of it that way. Or, or and there's a Dunkin' Donuts usually around the corner from each shell station I've ever been to. How much so for, those, save, Mike? for those people that like Dunkin' Donuts coffee, or what they serve over there, there's another opportunity to go, you know. I think their coffee's improving also. They, you do? Um, yeah, because they, um, all, all Dunkin' Donuts are everywhere have gotten new machines, and they're trying to compete with Starbucks, so they've um, been having, yeah, the you know, they've been having teacher, I mean, you know, training programs to Great. learn how to make a real cappuccino and a real espresso and stuff, and so all stuff, all Dunkin' Donuts are going through that. And, and I noticed myself, because And w- what's like also a great gesture this time of year, whatever you save maybe in gas that day, if there's a line at the gas station, you can pay for the person behind you or give them 10 bucks for their gas or oh, pay for someone at Dunkin' Donuts. She's gonna follow you. No kidding, yeah. Follow, you. follow Michael. I was excited, I, I filled up in Beverly for $29. Uh, on Friday? I'm excited because I saved 300 by signing up with Geico. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I did. I did. Oh, God. All right, what else you got, Joe? What else do you got? Uh, stand up, sit down, front back. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. I can't. So, I gotta go I, promised, I promised all of listeners. We need to call Jim. As a result of last week's podcast, that I would bring another interesting topic to the floor uh, because inquiring minds want to know. <laughs> but I'm just curious. These are these are questions that I have for people, but I just don't ask, and I think it's important really? What's stopping to get you? these out for discussion, because I think every curious mind wants to know how many I, people I see actually. I see something weird coming. <laughs> Come on, keep it going. When when they when they go number two, is number two poop? Number yeah, two, number two is poop. Yeah. Exit two. Do you actually yeah. have kids? Do do you stand <laughs> to wipe, or do you actually? St- stay seated on the toilet and wipe. And if you stay, well, regardless of whether you stand or oh, yeah, if you sit, <laughs> is it the front or the back? <laughs> wipe from the front, wipe from the back is yeah. all you ask them? Yeah. It's very simple. You stand up when you wipe and you, and then you go front to back. Front to back. <laughs> Wait a minute. Front to back. I, I'm really confused. Don't, I don't, don't, you, <laughs> don't you people have wipers? <laughs> Wipers. I have bidets. a private wiper. We don't have bidets, no. <laughs> yeah. the only the old time greasers have the fucking bidets. No, I have a private wiper. It comes every morning. It's fine. Yeah, yeah. Melissa usually has between she seven and nine. Go ahead, Melissa. <laughs> Uses. I'm still wondering where the interesting topic is that you promised the listeners from last week. <laughs> That's an interesting topic. I I, I want to know what people actually do. I want to know if I'm in the minority. Front, you're creating you're creating a. Uh, like, a, like a, just a, a deposit yeah, at the end. The front. You know, the front I have now. to apologize to my wife because I should be home making her breakfast right now. <laughs> and instead, I am here listening to this bull crap. But I will crap. say that in my old house, before I moved to Gloucester, and I'm, very, <laughs> I'm very upset at my wife because when we moved, she wouldn't allow me to take this, but we had the toilet seat, this toilet seat that was installed, that was heated. And it had the one that came out, and you hit the button, and it sprays water up your pillow. No, it didn't. Swear to God. So why don't you just buy a new one? They- <laughs> I'm going to buy a new one. They were three hundred fifty dollars, and you need an electrician to come in. That's another three hundred. So I don't know if I want an electrician so in words, running through my toilet seat. <laughs> but I'm it's recyclable. You, I'm telling you, if you have low hanging fruit, that could be a problem with your electricity. <laughs> and and it, had a, a little more, you know. it had an oscillator. Had an oscillator. Um, feature. So it was like, like a. I got an idea. 
Just go out and get your lawn sprinkler. Stick it underneath the toilet. <laughs> Pack your oh, ass over. Well, he's been doing that outside. The neighbors are complaining about Chris being outside, <laughs> squatting over his lawn sprinkler. No, I, he's next, got the best looking grass. <laughs> I'm telling you, it, I, I'm getting a new one. There's nothing like waking up in the middle of the night and sitting on a warm toilet seat. I'm telling you. Well, go number two. Any time go any number two in the middle of the night, Chris. That's an issue. You want to talk to your GI about that? <laughs> Yeah, it's true. It is true. Well, I sit down when I pee. Can I too. tell you that I had the pasta carbonara last night <laughs> <laughs> with the fried egg on top? And, uh, the the Franklin. Franklin. It was fantastic. I've never tried that before. I've always it was to. It absolutely like, it looks like it's fantastic. Around, it looks like it's around 3,000 calories. Yeah, but we, it's the holidays, Kim. It's, it's made right. This is after, this is the this is the evening of the morning where we went and got the extra pancakes on top of the on top of oh the. Oh my day. god! So it was like an eight thousand calorie day. Oh my god! Yeah, it was a, yeah. Ralph and I don't care though. As of January first, we're giving up drinking. Yeah. Um, we're giving up drinking and eating. And eating. You're gonna see two new men. Are you guys doing the polar plunge? We are. We're gonna that's do gonna the polar. That's gonna be the start. That's gonna be the start of our. Uh, You're really gonna yeah. want that heated toilet seat afterwards. Just saying. Because Just when saying. people see Ralph and I without a shirt, <laughs> they're gonna be like, "Quick, pull them back in the water. They're dying." <laughs> that's, that's gonna be the motivation yeah. for us to uh, lose five pounds. There you go. I, I'm totally going to be there now on the first. Just to see. Well, we're going to be in Speedos, too. Yeah. You, you have to document Speedos. it. Melissa. This year, Speedos, first time. Red, white, and blue. We're trying to get someone that would put the the uh, the the, uh, the, the the logo on the Bina. Yeah. yeah. The logo. I have a sewing machine. She could put it on Look the back. Wall. She put it on the back side, Joe, not the front. We want that the thing if, right on the beaner. If you put it on the front, nobody's going to see it because it's going to shrivel up. There'll be nothing to see. You put it on the back side, you get a nice view. Because we all the gulus. So yeah, yeah, the gulus. <laughs> right. Good morning, you, gulu. You, I want, first of all, these are my conditions for sewing them on the back side. You have to be wearing it's, them at the time? Oh my yes, God, yes, you, you, can, you can put your name on, on the ass. No, no, no. They have to be new, unused Speedos. Yes, oh, of course. Because I'm not touching Speedos. Yeah. Um, especially, and I need them especially that Chris doesn't have his, his automatic Google washer. So. <laughs> Sometimes I would sit so you got no on the toilet seat and turn I, around. I will, I will attempt. It only has to last one. Right, hour. no, no, it's so one you, use thing. Oh. Wait a minute, these are stickers. Just stick it on your gulu. What the difference does it make? What's it do? You could do that, but it should be bigger. No, Melissa likes the challenge. Or put one on each cheek. I'm just going to do a little felt. Felt? I love it, yeah. I, I love it. So yeah, and you could glue them on, actually. <laughs> you you merino wool. Things? You got to use merino wool. Okay, listen. Uh, Parker River Reserve. Kim went there. Uh, Parker, Parker River National. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, that's, a, that's a great spot. Oh my God! Oh, oh, you get hey, the hey, 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 the hey God, let me put one on my uh, Bishadella. Which one? Let the voters vote. Which yeah. one you like? Front or back? I don't know if I want to be sitting here anymore. <laughs> you got to turn around. Wait, we got to get him on the front. Oh Jesus Christ! Hang on, let me. That's why he came in second. Front or back? <laughs> Oh my god. Oh hey, hey, Kim! Jesus! She got the close up. Oh! This wasn't a, uh, a nudie shot. <laughs> See, we solved, we solved all sorts of problems. He's a thinker. That's why he's a successful businessman. He thinks outside the box. That's right, I'm the idea guy. Tell, tell me about the park. That's a beautiful spot. This is, this is good. Good stuff. It, it, is, it was beautiful there yesterday, but I don't know if this, anybody is listening. Kim, <laughs> 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 But anyways, um, we it was, no. a two, it was a two owl species day yesterday. We saw um, snowy? a snowy owl beautiful. and a barred owl. So the barred owl was beautiful. They're, they're, they're difficult to see because they're kind of like camouflaged. Um, camouflaged within the trees. And then they, when they... Sp- when they fly down to eat something, they fly down so you can't even see them. It's even harder to see them. How many so. people were there, approximately? Um, just kidding. Well, no, no, there, no, no, there's, there's, a, crowd. A, there's a crowd. Like when, If you see a crowd, if you're driving through oh. Parker River and you see a crowd, pull over. Really? Because it's usually like people with binoculars and um, long telephoto lenses. Right. And, 
and people are really nice. They'll say, "Oh, there it is." It's whatever. a great thing yeah. to do for the holidays with yeah. the kids actually. Yeah. Yeah. You my daughter. Right out there. Yeah, my daughter and I Where did it yesterday. Yeah, so we had a blast. Plum Island. Yeah. Oh, Plum Island. Island. Yeah. yeah. Parker River National. Uh, Park, uh, pa- Parker River National. That was Sandy Point is. Was yes, it? that's where. That's, was. Was. No, that's where Sandy Point is. We went, yeah. we went out there. So if you look at if you look at Plum Island, it's a long barrier island. And then if you go over to the left, oh, 11 miles long. it's the um, it's more residential. But if you go out to the right and you drive it's all gorgeous. along that whole length, that's part of the National Wildlife Refuge. Yeah. But then if you go to the tippy tippy end, that's the state park, and yep. that's called Sandy Hook. Right, Sandy Point. Sandy, Sandy Point. Sandy Point. I did not realize that that was 11 miles long. Yeah, yeah it maybe even 13. Is it that long? Sandy yeah, it is. So I have a place there, as you know, yeah. and I I um, five years ago. <laughs> I was walking my dog, uh, and went past a sign, because the dogs were on the beach at this time of year, yeah. and I went past a sign on the, on, on the beach, not knowing, because it was a wicked storm, and love walking down there in the storm. I was ticketed $150 by a park ranger with a federal, in a federal vehicle, because oh, I crossed over some line that you couldn't, you know, the, the storm was blowing, you couldn't see a thing, and it was Christmas week, hmm. and then the guy didn't give me a ride back. He wanted me off off Sandy Point with my dog Joe, and I had to walk all the way back. It was the funniest thing. So, young so, so, so it's sand because there are a lot of people with dogs. Oh no, no, you're not supposed to have any dog. In right, there, you can't right? have any dog can't past any the reservation right. when it when right. it turns into a federal federal right. park. Right. No dogs allowed. No dogs Mike, allowed. you knew that, right. Mike. You know, I did, Chris, and it was just another rule that I'd broken in my life. I know, Mike. But I wasn't. <laughs> I was awful selfish. I, I didn't know I was past past the sign at that time. But I happen to be about six feet past the sign, apparently. And this is the reason why you lost Gloucester's most eligible class. Yeah. Because <laughs> I was out walking by myself with my dog with without a lady. That was the friend. tipping point. That was yeah, the it was the tipping point. point. No woman was, wants was, to date somebody that crosses the line. Maybe, yeah. maybe, he, got, maybe he got more votes because he's walking his dog. Yeah. Oh, my dog is the best. <laughs> I think Joe probably would have had a better chance of getting more votes than Mike, to be honest with you. <laughs> well, I'm not eligible. I, I am but, ineligible. Not you, no, Joe. My dog, I'm talking yeah. Joe the dog. Oh, my dog. Yeah. He is a nice Joe. Um, my dog Don't Joe flatter is yourself, one, Joe. Really? My dog Joe is one handsome mother. It's not all about right you, now. Joe. I think, Your dog is I think Mike did awesome considering he doesn't live here. I agree. I agree. So. Well, well I live about a mile down the street. I mean, that you, you're relatively... I'm just trying Mike, to put the word out to the Mike, podcast. It's, it's, it's going to be at least He's the like man of the night of Gloucester. Twenty years from now, they're still going to show you a lot of time. He didn't win. Oh, yeah, you can from see him hanging out at the street until corner one in the morning, asking he women is if they want to the date. Streets and the bars. He's got pamphlets. The wrong one. He's got right. business cards. He's got QR codes. This will bring you right to the place yeah. where you can vote. <laughs> I will see when I walk in the rum line. Recently, I was walking in the rum line. I have had some people come over to me and say, "Do you want to dance again? You, you, I love dancing with you." These two women, Ruth and um, I can't remember the other lady, but yeah, like, who, who are you? One time, no, they want to dance. It's fun. Um, the White Elway House. I think this is pretty big news, and I didn't know anything about it. Yeah, because they're. Tell people where the White Elway House is. So it's right on um, the circle, right on, first road, road, yeah. right, right on the first road, right on Grant Circle. And if you're driving around the circle, you might have noticed that they're doing this wonderful renovation on the barn there. And the KPM Museum is going to be using that now to... Do you know how old the White Elderly House is? 17-something? Oh, 1700s. Yeah, right. yeah definitely. Yeah. Wow. So, I mean, they're doing a beautiful job, like everything they do at the museum. Right. And it's right. going to... I mean, over the years, their collections have just grown and grown and grown, so they need extra storage now, and they're going to be using that. So the White Ellery House is big, kind of like, is it a salt box? Um, yeah, the, I think so. I think it is a salt box. Yeah, it is, definitely. From yeah. the 1700s. Right. They've, they've preserved. The right. Cape, have, you, have you been in the Cape Ann Museum yet? I have not. Have you, Ralph? Have you been in the game? Uh, I'm not. January, okay. Free, residence free for residents. Oh, thank January. God, I'm going. I'm gonna tell you right now. Yeah. Listen, yeah, that's, that's my next date night. I'm not joking. It is really worthwhile to go, to go through there. I know. Yeah, because it's free. That. It's free. And it's free. I've been no, waiting it's, for it's the time. It's free to residents. A little, well, bit of, little bit of giving back. Oh, you, you, know, know, you know when you should yeah. go. Yeah. I mean, I pay enough taxes, property taxes. You know, and meal you know tax. Don't forget go. about this meal is, tax. This is really January. important. You know, this is really important. This is really important. So our... <laughs> Breaking news. <laughs> <laughs> it's not breaking news. 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 It's not bre
groundbreaking, but it's just really good to remind <laughs> everybody um, that um, Catherine oh, okay. Ryan, who is uh, one of our you know be best contributors, she's just awesome, and she has organized this incredible show that's going to be there for a whole entire month. So um, she did the Cape Ann Reads program where she got all the libraries together, and they um, and they created a um, a competition for children's book authors and the, and now it was so successful that it's she's created the show I mean all the artwork is beautifully framed with you know thousands of dollars worth of frames and um, so she's hung the show and <coughs> it's gonna be it's gonna be up the whole month <laughs> it's gonna be up the whole month of um, January and part of February and she's Mike's gonna I mean, be up the whole month of I mean people January don't know too. this about Catherine I'm not just after the this, polar like, plunge do, if every, if anybody's familiar with Babar, um, the, the you know bar. The, Babar, the children's which bar? Babar, the, the children's oh. book. Babar, and, oh, the, and the Lawrence de Brunhoff the family who wrote it. She organized shows for them. I mean, she's really, she is like she's real deal. She's the real deal. People don't know that about her. Like she had she, some, she had she some had, big time. And right. when she was in New York, right. she had some. She represented Robert Rauschenberg for sixteen years. Yeah. I mean, what? Yes. Yeah. Not the. Yes. Yeah. Yes. The, really. really? Yes, Who's Robert Rauschenberg? He's this really, you know, amazing 20th century artist who, um... Chris. You know, Chris. Was he, he the one who... Can you get out a little bit more? Did he paint the Sistine Chapel? No. No, the dog's no. playing poker. <laughs> <laughs> but he... No, but did he paint the, the, the kid, dog's The kid's painting paintings poker? go for, like, you know, 20, 30, 40 million dollars. Don't mean, you have a couple of those at the house, Chris? <laughs> yeah. I have. I just have a red But I'm just saying, I think you'd really Catherine, need a couple Cox Catherine has done have. just a... An extraordinary job doing this. She's working with the museum. She's working with other museums around the other museums and libraries around the area. Because after it's at Cape Ann Museum is the first stop for the show. And then it's going to travel to other museums and libraries around the area. So awesome! Yeah, very cool. Uh, Radio Shack at, at Abacus Computer and the Mac Daddy. Yeah, that's. I think that's exciting for everybody. I was so we lost. We lost, we Radio, lost Shack, Radio Shack, which is like, no, they're back. Yeah. Oh, this sorry. Is, there's the point. This is Spoiler alert! Right. Right. Good morning, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Oprah. <laughs> Oprah. No, but Mike's right. They're um. Mike's they're, right. They they're back. Okay. And Going back they, to bed. Um, they they've been World's very over. missed, I think, because you know I've run into Radio Shack. We all run into Radio Shack to get some electronic little thing, and that's now, where I buy batteries. Yeah. Now the guys. For the Jackrabbit. Um. The guys who have the Abacus computer and Mac Daddy, who are awesome. 228 uh, Main Street. 238. 238. 238 Main Street. Actually, that's what my wife and calls me, Mac Daddy. <laughs> well, the real Mac Daddy is Sad Bernardi at <laughs> the uh, um, computer store. And those guys are awesome. I don't know if you guys know this, but, I mean, they are awesome. They're fabulous. They're really great. Where is that spot? 238 Main Street. And oh. Frank right across from, uh, from uh, Alexander's Bread Company. Oh yeah, yeah. And fr and Frank does he does um, PC PCs right, right. and then um, Thad does Apple computers and oh, so they have great enough. business and they I mean they've helped me so many times I buy hard drives from them all the time. They They're do awesome. uh, home calls, uh, mm, home, uh, house calls. I think they do. I do think that they do, don't they, Joe? I think they do. I think they do. I'm because sometimes I call them and they say, oh, it's Thad's out on a house call, so oh, really? I, I don't cool. know for sure, but I'm gonna have them over. Yeah, they're really Actually, awesome. That's good to know. Yeah. Uh, Thank God, Mike left. Melissa, you have a show coming up at Santander? I do. Um, in Manchester. Manchester by the Sea, Santander Bank, or also known as Santander. Where is that? Um, like a physical address? Yeah. like it's I mean, Manchester. It's not that big. I know, but like... I have no downtown. idea. Downtown. It's downtown, downtown Manchester. Downtown. Okay. Um, it's be between Calas and oh, yeah. the library. Okay. Yeah. Does that narrow that down? Yeah. Yeah. No. Um, <laughs> I need an address. Um, um, so, Mary Barker and myself are going to be displaying our photos for the month of January. So, we're hanging on the 2nd, so shows open on the 3rd through February 5th. Um, and there's a reception on the first Saturday of January, so January 5th, um, and like... 10 to 1. Is it, um, and because I've seen some of your schooner photos, are they schooner photos? And um, there's going to be a handful of the, the schooners. schooners. Um, it, it's actually a very large space, and uh, 
There's room for like 30 pitchers, wow, that's 25 awesome. to 30 pitchers. Yeah. Um, but it's it's and Mary, yeah, Mary yeah, and, does. Yeah, awesome. and she does schooner photos as yeah. well. So we partnered up to do this show, and um, so I'm very excited. It's it's my first big show, show outside away. of Gloucester. Great. That's tremendous. So, yeah. Congratulations. Very yeah. very cool. Bye, yeah. Congratulations, Bye. Merry Christmas. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Ralph's leaving early, folks. <laughs> He's gonna go see his mother. He's gonna go see. His... All birds. All birds. All birds. Yes. All birds are the sneakers that I have on. I don't know if I call them sneakers, Chris. Leisure shoes. Leisure yeah. shoes. Dress casual. Very Good. comfortable. There was actually an article. I forget where I read the article, but it's it's an interesting story about two former professional soccer players hmm. that left the sport and decided to get into the sneaker business, and uh, they just wanted something footwear basic. Footwear business. Uh, Com- like comfortable. Footwear, right. I'm sorry. You're right. It's footwear. It's not, and that's, I think, that was their motivation. I think they call them yeah. lifestyle, lifestyle shoes. Yeah. Lifestyle they didn't want shoes. anything well, with foofy logos or colors. There's only like 10 styles, colors, yeah. styles, mm-hmm. not even styles. Well, they have now branched out into different. You can get loafers now. Loafers, right. But in terms of like the scholar a color scheme is very limited, which limited. I kind of yeah. like. Yeah. Uh, they're $95, you know. Um, they last and last. And they, they last Marino wool is a high they're quality. Made. So yeah. Marino wool, I've talked about Marino wool on yeah. the blog for how long? Yeah, at least five yeah. years. At least five years. Yeah. And it's all, the only kind of socks I will wear are Marino wool. Because right. even in the even in the summer, yeah. I wear a lightweight merino wool because it lets you. They let your feet breathe. Yeah. Oh, there's different weights. Of there's different weights. So you, they, they, regardless, <laughs> they, they let your. They are very good at uh, temperature regulating uh, your feet, so they're not sweating. Why they make when you underwear. walk into my house, that's the carpet I have. They, is all merino wool. Yeah. They make house. merino so, wool underwear. They do. Really? Yeah. 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 So Kim yeah. did a whole thing about merino wool. The fibers, the, the fibers of right. merino wool are so fine compared yeah. to regular wool. Yeah. And also, when you look at it, if you look at wool um, fibers mm-hmm. under the microscope, it's like a shaft, but then it has all these little pockets going all along the side. And so that traps yeah. and um, yeah, circulates the air around. Right? And that's what, makes mer- that was, that's what makes it And so. it's a bitch to get the dog hair out of the merino wool carpet, I'll tell you that. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, because bro. I bet they stick oh, into those boy. little tiny it's pockets. so tough. But these, these yeah. Allbirds, this brand... You're supposed to be able to just toss them in the washing machine too, right? I haven't done that yet, but yeah. That, they I, advertise I, that. I have done that once. I yeah. recommend, oh, you so recommend you shoe trees? Yeah, I have a pair. Well, I Googled, like about it, six months ago, I Googled world's most comfortable sneakers, and that's what came up, and I really liked the website and read about them, so I ordered the, oh, cool. uh, it's called Black, but it's really a charcoal gray. Yeah, I think oh, that's you, cool. I think that you have the same color. Actually, these are the blue. Yeah. Oh, those are blue. Okay. My friend has, well, the, the, has this the, charcoal gray one. Yeah, the, yeah, the ones that are called black, but are really are charcoal. They kind of look like little hounds toothy. Yeah, and they also have a black, um, a dark gray sole too. Mm-hmm. But yeah, there's different colors. So you get the cream oh, color. Yeah. Right. Now, would you wear those with a suit, Chris, or without the suit? Would you would you suit up and wear a pair of all birds? I actually wear them into the shower. They're, no. They're, yeah. No. no, it's very. So you wear them to bed. Kind of like slippers. I wear them to bed. Charlene nah, commands you to wear them. I'm dying to give them. I got. I got Tom some for Christmas. I'm Did you really? To, yeah, I'm dying to give them to. Oh him. Jesus! Yeah. Now he knows. He. He does not listen to the podcast. What? <laughs> We're insulted. He is too. <laughs> what? Well, what? Tom is way no, too highbrow. No, he, he, he doesn't he, critique it. No, he works a lot out. Way too highbrow for our no, our, our silly our little podcast. My, my husband shenanigans. Yeah. So. If he were driving in a car, he would listen to it. Like what some, I was most impressed about is that I think within the three or four years that they uh, started selling them, yeah. they're like a one point four billion dollar company right now. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Was their sales evaluation? I, I, I didn't mean, pick up on. They're all over Instagram now. And, I think it was sales. Really That's really interesting. Because they're not public. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. 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 So. It's just it's skyrocketing really skyrocketed in popularity. Well, well, you notice a lot I of the sneakers. Second pair. There's a pair. There's, you know the red ones. And it the goes to a, goes to a point for the young them. listeners in the audience today. Follow your dreams. Yeah. Yeah. Don't make just make your own road and get there. Yeah. I mean, these two guys, retired soccer players, yeah. they didn't know they're gonna have a billion dollar company. They don't mean yes. That's about remember my idea, yeah. Cam, that yeah. I, my dream. No. 
when I say no means yes, well, that means people are going to tell you that you can't yeah. do it. Kind of like back in high school, Chris, no means yes back then for you too. Especially when Joe and I were in the locker room. Yeah. And Joe said, Chris, you, you grabbed him by the back you of the head. You should do that, Joe. You should do that. You I'm going to follow my dreams. Actually, there are two conversations going on here. The golf <laughs> team and the tennis right. team shared That's locker room Joe, space off. Get some control of your show, Joe. You got to do it. It's out of control. Joe. It's a winter project. Yeah. yeah. Next? Yeah. Nothing like a winter project. Okay. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I thought that was... I thought that was... I thought that that was the guy coming to get Kim for when she hit the guy on the side of the road when she was drunk coming home from Essex. Again? In the Prius. In the Prius. <laughs> on a Monday at 2.30 in the afternoon. You know what? That thing can't go fast enough to kill anything. <laughs> But it's stealthy. You can't hear it. <laughs> we, that could have, that could have been a butterfly that hit the car. It's made of like. <laughs> we did not mention. We did not mention a super important topic. What? What, Joe? Next Saturday. Yes. The the GMG Holiday Barbecue first ever holiday oh, barbecue. Oh right! Yeah. Yes. The Woo! 29th. It, start, it starts at five. Right? Shout out to Craig Kimberly, right? Craig's cooking. I'm cooking. Pot luck. What time does it start? Ralph's cooking. My wife's Ralph's cooking. cooking. Uh, Your wife doesn't cook. She's gonna make toast think, for everybody. I think people could. I think people, people, people should show up for us. Your wife's gonna, your yeah, wife's yeah, gonna yeah. open a bottle of wine. Maybe some rosé. If it's any less. I heard the liquor lock is, has a shortage on rosé. Oh, nice. And so, so he'll be able to celebrate with us. Well, we he got um, special he reservations. He got, I'm bringing a dessert, but at eight. So, oh, perfect. Yeah. You can stop by before. Yeah. So, so people come by at 6 o'clock, Cape Ann G. Clay. That's G-I-C-L-E-E, 20 Maplewood Ave. Melissa's going to be there. Melissa. Yes, always. And are you going to behave oh, yourself this year, you Melissa? Are you going to behave yourself this year, Melissa? I'm sorry. Alicia was the one that left with a lump on her head last year, not me. <laughs> That's another opportunity for a date. I have never been so horrified. I thought we were going to lose everything. I, I, thought, I thought we were going to we lose, were gonna lose everything. She... Was dancing all crazy. Doing the limbo. Hey, Odie, doing the limbo. She went down like a fucking ton Ooh. of bricks head Alicia. first. Alicia. Oh. Alicia Chris's Unleashed. Ex, Chris's ex yeah. wife. Alicia Unleashed. Alicia yeah. Unleashed. She went down like a ton of fucking bricks head first. Oh into, my God. Into the printer. Into the printer. Oh. I thought for yeah. sure we were going to be banned from there for life. Right, because that's. It's still on Boston. Oh you can search it on Boston. <laughs> 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 but come. Are you going uh, to make your jello thing? Jello. Jello. No, I didn't make no I she makes the she makes stripper the pole penguins. Oh, the little um, stripper pole penguins. Penguins on a stripper pole. Yeah. That's what she I'll make, I'll make, That was uh, my Easter thing. The strip. I'm gonna make Jello shots. The peeps. Yeah, that's the stripper was, pole. Oh, the peeps. That's that's the other. I thought I'm gonna make Jello shots. You don't make Jello shots. Hey, I'm gonna make an appearance. I'm gonna make an appearance. <laughs> no, I, I have a, a new cute penguin thing, so I'll be doing desserts. I want it to be inappropriate because it kind of like that's your thing. I am not nearly as inappropriate as Alicia. <laughs> or Chris. Or Chris. True. Thank it's you. True. It's true. True. You know what? You're lucky or, he's come or, around because he makes you look Mike, somewhat Chris, respectable. Like somewhat Mary. respectable, yeah. Everybody look better. <laughs> happy birthday. Happy birthday, everybody. There you go. Joe, happy birthday. All right. It's GloucesterCast 312. It's in the books. Sorry, ne- folks. Next podcast will be the one next, next Saturday. Year. We're going we're gonna to tape, tape live next Saturday. At the, so come to Cape Angie Clay. If if you didn't get a personal Facebook invite, that doesn't mean you're not invited. Yes, it does. You're we want saying. we want all our all of our friends of the blog to come. Yeah. Potluck if you think of uh, bring to bring something. And it's BYOB. And you can uh, make a generous donation to the Good Morning Gloucester Fund. No, I'm the just go, kidding. The GoFundMe page. Joe needs uh, new chairs here in his office. Yeah, no, no. And of course, uh, nowadays Massachusetts potluck can mean something completely yeah. different. Yeah. Hey now. Hey now. I like that. Who brought the gummies? Yeah. <laughs>